everybody. My name is Jennifer Jones and this episode of Outside Every Day with Surreal is brought to you by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. In today's episode, I'm going to share with you some games and activities you can share with your kids to bring them outdoors and engage with the natural world and explore their senses. So as a wildlife biologist with the Wairika Office of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, I like to think of my job as being a nature detective. Sometimes we go out to look for the animals, but we actually don't find them. We only see signs that they've been there. So let's say, for instance, we're looking for an owl. Think about what are some clues that might tell you that the animal has been there. Maybe a feather on the ground, or a whitewash on a tree, an owl pellet, or perhaps you can even hear an owl hooting in the distance. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set up an unnatural trail. I'll put uh, 25 items that are not nature related in uh, their, our backyard, and I'll hide them for my daughter Abby to find. So I'll show you how to go ahead and hide those items. Come with me. And now for some ideas of how you can hide your items for your unnatural trail. So as you can see, I have a coin in the tree and a butterfly hair clip. We also have a bat ring and a hair tie camouflaged in the tree. Down low is a tricky paper clip a clear barrette in the tree, and then a funny little smiley face in a Buddha's lap, a little owl in a plant, another barrette, and a yellow eraser and a tulip. Now let's see how Abby does trying to find these items. So this is a great activity to do so close to Easter because kids are already excited about finding surprises in the yard. So here we have Abby with her magnifying glass and her Easter egg basket, and we are ready for the hunt. Oh, uh, huh. ooh, there's a coin. Oh, she found the coin, and she sees the butterfly. butterfly. Okay. Um, Do you see anything else? Ooh, here's the bait. Oh, yeah. So now you can start giving hints if the kids are having trouble finding things. So Abby, there's two things in that tree. One you use for your hair. Ah. Yes. <laughs> okay. And one. She got the hair tie. And another thing you might put around your neck. That's kind of shiny and Ooh. silver. <laughs> you got it. She got the necklace. If they're still having trouble finding the rest of the items, you can give them hints like saying colder when they're getting farther away or closer is warmer. So you are pretty warm on something. Colder, colder, warmer, colder, and warmer, warmer, hot, hot, burning hot. Very good, a rubber band. So here are 23 out of the 25 items that I hid for our unnature trail. I'd recommend taking a picture of them ahead of time so you don't lose any in the grass like we did. And thank you for joining us for this episode of Outside Every Day. If you enjoyed the activity, please share with others and also join us on May 17th for another sensory activity. Mm -hmm.